Windows 10 tiles can be pretty cool or pretty annoying. The tiles are basically the little icons that show up, well, the bigger icons that show up on your start menu. For example, if I want to add a tile, I can just do pin to start. We've done some of this in our previous video. And this video is going to kind of go over some tips and tricks on this. So you can pin pretty much anything you want to start. Any program at all. Now, once they are pinned to start, you do have the option to actually name a group. So I can like call this one Tools, for example. But one other thing you can do is you can actually rearrange these tiles or create new groups with them. Tile Group 2. See how I just drug that down and let it go, and it created a second group for me? Now, these tiles also have one other thing you can do with them. You can actually right-click and do Resize, and you can actually change the size between Small and medium, depending on the actual graphical icon that you have. Since these are older icons, you can't make them much bigger than that. But let's try this Google Chrome one. Resize, small and medium. Okay, so that one's small as well. But let's try an actual app. Let me go down through here. I think I have my mortgage one still, or Get Office. I believe that one can be larger. Let me right click on Get Office, resize, and see now I can do wide. So it takes up two spots or I can actually resize it to be large. That way I've got a huge button. I can move it around any way I want and kind of make it look the exact way I want. Now, if I go through here, I can also do this more and it'll let me run this program as an administrator, which can be useful. I can pin it to my taskbar, which is actually the bar at the bottom of my screen. I can rate and review this app online. I can share this app with a friend. Or if you don't know what live tile is, essentially if it's an animated tile or if it has a background updater, maybe it's got news or uh, different types of uh, videos running uh, on your start menu, you can actually turn that off so that it doesn't run in the background. So that's pretty much how you rearrange, create new categories and customize your tile start menu. As I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of the, of, uh, the tile system. Don't really use it. I either use the search or I use my taskbar or as a distant third, I use my, uh, my desktop. Oops. And that's all there is to it.